The shift to a cleaner energy economy won't happen overnight, and it will require some tough choices along the way. But the debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. And when our children's children look us in the eye and ask if we did all we could to leave them a safer, more stable world with new sources of energy, I want us to be able to say, yes, we did. The Sunshine Initiative plays a very key part of the President's Climate Action Plan. In the first term of his administration, President Obama set a, a very ambitious goal to double the amount of uh, renewable energy on our nation's electric grid, uh, from wind, from solar, from geothermal sources. And we started planning for the Sunshine Initiative back in 2010, and it all started with a very simple question. What would it take for solar to become an appreciable portion of our nation's electricity and energy generation mix? The technology has to be cost competitive with conventional forms of energy generation. We set some really aggressive cost goals, uh, achieving six cents per kilowatt hour at the utility scale. We're three years into a decade-long initiative and we're 60 percent away there. This is really exciting because these are technologies that the Department of Energy has consistently supported the, the development of and the advancement of over a 20 to 30 year time span. Uh, we're seeing growth in the sector, we're seeing economic development, uh, and we're seeing jobs. We're looking forward to the companies in the industry uh, to lean forward to help us achieve the SunShot targets. But we know that if we can get even very, very close to the sunshot targets, solar will have a very bright future in America. Over the last eight years, we've seen the solar industry grow by a compound annual growth rate of 72% per year. It's one of the fastest growing industries in the United States and certainly the fastest growing sector of the energy industry. The goal of six cents per kilowatt hour is essential in the next few years. And that's gonna be accomplished in large part with the partnership between the DOE and the industry. But the great news is you don't drill for solar, you don't mine solar, you manufacture it. And when you manufacture it, you install it. And that means you're creating jobs in the field. The market for solar installations has grown dramatically over the last several years. And in fact, today, there's over 11 times as many solar installations as there were in 2008. Just since 2012, the number of solar jobs has increased by 20%, and that's an increase that's 10 times faster than the general increase in jobs in the U.S. economy. Today and every day, 56 new solar jobs are being created. Every four minutes, another American home or business goes sold. Every panel pounded into place by a worker whose job cannot be outsourced. Taken together, our energy policy is creating jobs and leading to a cleaner, safer planet.